Welcome to Real Bass Lessons. Today I thought we would continue on with a little bit of pentatonic. I'm working from this book here. Uh, I've had a positive response to the lesson with the pentatonic and the book too. So I thought we'd go a little further in it. We've actually jumped about three quarters of the way through the book now and we're going to work on a very specific little exercise which will help you get that pentatonic together all over your fingerboard, okay? Now we're in major pentatonic. Check it out here. Sure, so I've laid out the notes on the G string. And I want to do stuff like this. So we want to use that little root and then our three note pattern starting on this one, starting here. Check it out. I'll play it once uh, with the play along I think. Here we go. Cool, let's look at that. <laughs> Again, I worked with uh, uh, my pentatonic. And the first time I went. Next up. Oops. Then I went back down. Time I was still went up the neck, but I changed my little pattern instead of sure. So it demands that you're going to learn uh, where those little starting riffs are on each one of these strings. Let's start real slow motion again. Very first one. Follow me up. Now let me get the tempo right. changes. Cool. may take you a little while to figure it out, but uh, that's what the whole book's all about, working away. This is actually uh, example number 42, so this is a long way into the book. But I'm going to play it a few times, and you just try to learn it and get it in with me, okay? Have some fun with it here. Here we go. that one up. Let's do it again. Thank you. 
how'd you do? Did you get it? I think I got it right there. I was screwing it up. Let's do it again and get it right, okay? This is a just tremendous exercise. Can you see how it's teaching you? You're seeing these little pentatonic shapes? You betcha. This is starting to get into application now, I meaning where do we put them? You can hear how they fit and they sound like little fills. As a matter of fact, I just started a, or I'm into that next book called Pentatonic uh, Application for Bass. Here we go. Let's do it again. Again. Cool. Nice one, huh? This will really get you learning that pentatonic. You know, pentatonic's one of those things that everybody says, oh yeah, I know my pentatonics. And uh, as soon as we start doing anything but just, meaning moving around the fingerboard, uh, well, let me just put it this way. In music, knowing, that means you can play it very well. If you can't play it well, you don't know it. Simple as that. So don't be frustrated if you can't, but dig into it and learn it with me, okay? There's lots of application for pentatonic, but one must become, you know, comfortable with it all over the fingerboard. Same with learning like arpeggios, your basic chords, major, minor, dominant stuff. Let's work it again, okay? So this is a real good little, uh, I don't say teaser, but just like a little introduction into application of pentatonic. Here we go. Let's do it again. Again. It's a little bit of a mind twister, isn't it? Kind of cheap track. Well, the idea is you need to work on it all so much that it's muscle memory and you can use it in a live situation. Anytime, in your half, anytime you have to think about your fingers or what notes, too late, the music doesn't slow down. Get it down. Perfect. Fired up.